now that you've seen and watched and fully digested uh, the great feedback videos from PJW, Alex Jones, Sonovich, and Stefan Manu. What does it do inside of you? How, how does it sit? I said, finally, walking you up to what really is happening in the world. That is the, the number one threat to you. Higher IQ, Western civilization, mainly white people. Has it, has it started to dawn on you to have your need to start having real, real substantial conversations in your place of work with your friends and families? Strategically, you know, started and sprinkled here and there. Again, 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 they, this this broken record of uh, of uh, to tolerance. Tolerance is a virtue. Uh, love trumps hate, and uh, let's pray for uh, uh, Manchester, the, the victims uh, the, uh, of uh, Ariana Grande concert attack, bombings, terrorist attacks. So, if 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 uh, for all of you liberals. And lefty uh, people, you know, if if tolerance is universally a virtue, is for universally good. How come you don't go visit? You go, go visit, go on vacation into those countries, into the Iraq, Iran, Saudi Arabia. You you go, especially you women. Go you go go take a vacation every now and like this summer. It's coming up quickly. Go take your fucking vacation over there. Go backpacking. And report back to us. You know, make a YouTube video about it. Okay. Uh, part of this, uh, this, this uh, broken record type of feedback we get from uh, the mainstream media is... Uh, we we're not gonna change anything. We're gonna we're gonna keep living the way we live. We're not gonna change one fucking thing about, about our daily lives, our thinking. We're gonna keep on fighting. Against what? Fighting against those that actually want to have more honest conversations? Uh, and most of all, what is what is the number one question for you that you could ask, you should ask of yourself when it comes to the end point, the end game of your robotic reply that tolerance is a virtue, we're not going to change anything, we're going to carry on the way we were doing for decades and decades and decades, no matter how many of your uh, friends, family, uh, people you know, die and get injured and get traumatized by periodic punctuated terrorist attacks. It, it, is it going to be forever? It, so it don't, there'll be no breaking point, right? Except when, when, when you're, you're going to be dead? And then when you're dead, that's, well, you, you can't change after that, right? But 
But actually, what's really going on, though, is uh, for uh, you, those people, you people that uh, keep repeating, tolerance is a fucking virtue, which is, of course, it's not. It is tolerance. Is a, it, uh, the word tolerance is a highly contextual word. And it's only a virtue. It's, it only could be a virtue in particular specific contexts. So coming to, uh, to a few days after the attacks, the bombings. As you get up every day to go to work, or at least you do have a job, right? A career or a business that you go to and not, and not being on welfare, right? And, or a pathetic government employee outside being a doctor and some other quite essential government employees, at least for now. <clears throat> I have learned by hard-fought, hard won battles Now, when it comes to dealing with, interacting, relating to lower IQ people who most of the time, if not all the time, they use aggression, aggress aggressive uh, physical threats and actions and behavior to get their way, to get money, food, transportation, a roof over their head. The vast majority of the time, if you interact with them in a kind, negotiated fashion and with sympathy and empathy, it just magnifies and it escalates their fucking aggressive behavior because they use your more rational behavior against you. They see the, through that crap. They instantly have this internal grin growing every time you try to negotiate and be empathetic toward lower IQ aggressive people. They see and they smash you down. That is when they take advantage of you. The more generous, real, tolerant, you, they take advantage. It's, it's like a, a, a being tortured in a dungeon. The torture will take advantage of your any vulnerabilities. The more they know about you, the more they know about your good side, your benevolent side, they will use that against you. And if not you personally as an adult, your friends and family and the minors, especially the children. A long time ago, I have, I went through periods of my life where I was forced to reorganize and organize Consistently, ever more so, my life so that I can speak out like I am now w without, without very little f uh, fear and anxiety uh, to uh, conform. You know that fucking word, conformity? To conform to my, my friends. Uh, sorry, not my friends, because I don't have any friends that... <sighs> that are fucking leftist, pro-Islamic people. Like, I have no fear 
I, I've come to the uh, to an area in my life, a phase where I have no fear, very little fear, rather, of speaking out the truth. I mean, how close to home? How close to your home? Does it need to hit the next bombing, terrorist attack? Done by you know fucking who, eh? When are you going to start making a spark inside your brain, inside your body to take charge of your fucking life? If you've watched Stefan Molyneux's video about the Ariana Grande terrorism attack, you remember the, the last thing he said in that video? Do you rather want to be popular or do you want to survive? Choose! 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 And if you don't consciously choose, <sighs> Those terrorists will choose for you!